Hello everyone and welcome to Sharp First Gaming. Now today we're here with, of course, Hero 30 who has been released on the PTR, which is on the PC version of Overwatch. Unfortunately for those of you who do play on console, you don't have him yet, but we're going to play test him here, get him all balanced for you guys before he gets over to the console. But this is Baptiste, 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 Baptiste. Um, he is what is considered a main healer as of right now. Uh, for those of you who are not aware of the difference between a main healer and an off healer, Main healer's primary objective is to heal, so things like Mercy, Ana, uh, Moira, and what we assume Baptiste to be currently. And then off healers are things like Brigitte, Lucio, and Zen, where they have a lot of extra things that they can do outside of healing. Like, they can heal, but it's not as good as the other ones. So that's just kind of a quick lowdown on that for those of you who are not aware of that kind of stuff. But, yeah, we're going to get into this here. I wasn't necessarily over-enthused with uh the release of Baptiste I mean cool we got a new hero but he didn't grip me the same way like Wrecking Ball and Ash did maybe it's because he didn't he they don't haven't released his cinematic trailer yet and that might be the case I don't know but uh we're gonna try him out here I've heard a lot of good things about him so we'll see what what happens so of course we can hold f1 for hero details um my actually my audio is really low I can't hear his voice lines so there's nothing there's no like um collectibles in the game yet so of course he's got his three round burst shot here I call that and burst. then his grenade launching so i like the one thing is i would like to be able to look down sights i don't know that there's a way to do that we'll figure that out here obviously okay i'm just pressing buttons now so this is his immunity field that's actually a lot bigger than i thought it was originally okay and then his his shift okay We'll take a closer look at these things in just a second. But yeah, like, the, the already, and I knew this was going to be a thing when I was watching all the videos on it, but already, I don't like that you can't look down the sights for this. I mean, it's fine, because he, he just has so many other things that he has to do that it's hard to dedicate a button to that, I guess. So those are actually pretty quick kills. Let me find some more bots. That actually did quite a bit of damage. I think it was two round bursts. So... One, two, yeah. If you if you hit all headshots, it just takes two clicks. That's not awful. Uh, what about body shots? Let's see how long it takes for body shots. And I don't have the numbers on the damage because obviously we're in PTR still, so it like they're they're uh, getting everything figured out before they put out numbers for how much he heals and damages and stuff. But we might have to do some of that testing with people later too. So here are body shots. One, two, three. So it takes three for body shots. Okay. And now, of course, we have the healing grenade. Okay, so it doesn't... It, mm. Okay, so it doesn't heal as much as I thought it would, which is good. It actually, I think that actually heals a pretty good amount. I want to see the range on this thing, too. So... Okay, you have to hit about that close to get it to... To heal him. Alright, alright, alright. All right, let's take a look at this actually the abilities actually here so the right or the left mouse click obviously or the mouse clicks both of them are the bionic launcher so the three round burst gun we already looked at the lob the healing projectiles we already looked at i want to kind of look at how that arcs and stuff too um we'll get the ultimate later because that's like the big thing everybody cares about on heroes is ultimates uh so his left shift is the regenerative regenerative burst Activate to heal yourself and nearby allies over time. So that's kind of, I guess that could be related to Lucio's uh, amp it up. But obviously Lucio heals all the time. He doesn't have to press the button. He just increases his healing with the button press. And then E is immortality field. Toss a device. Prevent allies from dying. The device can be destroyed. Um, and then... Passive is the exo boost. You hold crouch to jump even higher. So that'll be interesting. And my crouch should be C, I think. Oh yeah, so that charges it. Oh, and okay, it's it stays around for a little bit. You don't have to use it the instant after. Okay, well, we will, again, we'll look at all this stuff. So let's do the the healing thing. That's uh, shift. Okay. It looks like it's kind of sustaining the damage they're taking. And what's the cooldown on it? I didn't look to see what the initial cooldown is. 
So 15 second cooldown. And it the cooldown starts the instant after you press it too. So at the end of it is about a 10 second cooldown because it's still going. It goes for about 5 seconds. Okay. Then our E is this. So that thing can be shot. <clears throat> and that's like just at the tip of a Reinhardt bear. Actually, we'll do it somewhere that's not a... Uh, and see, you can see they don't die. They have that, like, it's like 10% health, I believe, that they stay at. And as long as that field's up, uh, they can't die. So let's do it somewhere where there's no ceiling. Can I just throw it straight up in the air? Holy shit! Yeah, you can. It's just like an Arisa barrier. But it sits about that high, so that's like right at the top of Reinhardt barrier. And that looked like an 18-second cooldown, and that, again, starts the instant after you throw it. And about 10 seconds after it breaks. So that thing can die. I don't know what its health is. From what I hear, it's about 500. It's about a Brigitte shield's health, so for some people that's a little bit too much. <laughs> oh, also, I didn't look at his ammo. So he's got 45 on the on the damage dealing, and he's got 10 grenades before he has to reload. Does it reload both at the same time? It does. All right. I mean, I don't know how you would switch between the two. Okay, then we have the ultimate which is amplification matrix project a matrix that doubles the damage and healing effects of allied projectiles so this will be an interesting thing so you can see it's not super big it's not as big as reinhardt shield it's almost as big as it is but oh yeah you can you can put that pretty far away like you think well it's about the same as maze ice wall i guess or with the distance and you can press... How do you turn it? Q to turn it? Yeah, you can turn it too, like Ice Wall. So you can go this way, you go this way. But you would think you'd probably want it closer to you. Because, like, if you put it way... So it's only that wall that'll amplify in the boosting and the, blah, blah, the damage and healing. So if you put it way away from you, the enemy team can can rotate around it a lot easier. Whereas if you put it right here... The enemy has a harder time rotating out of it because you have now more wall to use. So if I put it right there, it'll be better like right in front of your teammates. Because see, if the enemy rotates, you can still shoot them here, you can still shoot them there. Uh, where is I gotta get it back now? Gotta get it back now. Give it back. No wasted. And at first, I was gonna think those grenade launcher, that grenade launcher, would be a little too power overpowered. But I also thought it was gonna do damage, kind of like Anna's. Um, Anti-nade. I mean, the anti-nade stops healing. But I thought it would also do damage, which it doesn't, so that's... That's... I think that helps. Balancing it. Alright, so now we're gonna do the wall further away. So if I put the wall... Right here, actually. Boop, 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 boop. We're gonna pretend we're the enemy for a second. And we'll put it in front of... That guy. So see now, I it, oh wait, I did the same thing. I'm a dumbass. I'm actually stupid. Here, let me give it back. In. <laughs> I just did the opposite of, or I did the same thing I did the first time, the opposite of what I wanted to do. Because I'm still trying to. Sh I guess I was supposed to run all the way back. Never mind. I don't know. Let's put it way over there. So now, if I can run over here fast enough. Oh, I put it too close to the wall. Motherfuck. It'd be nice to know the timing on this, too. Okay, let's put it there. Alright, so now I'll say I'm the enemy team. If it's closer to me, I can easily rotate out of it. So I can't take the same damage. Whereas where we were talking before, I just showed you. You put it right here, and they have a harder time rotating around it. So that's, that's the point I was trying to make. That took me way too fucking long to do. Alright, and then we have, of course, the crouch charge, so I want to see how high I can get. I wonder if it's the same as Ash, where she gets super high. Wanna get high? Oh, that's not bad. I think that's pretty similar to Ash, so if you don't have to look down. So you can get up really high and use this grenade launcher a lot better. Cool. Alright, I think that's all we can really look... Okay, that's his normal jump. And you can, like, you don't have to charge it all the way, too. Neat. All right. <clears throat> so, I think we'll start getting into some games with him, test him out with other people. 
see and see how it goes. He's pretty decent from what I can tell so far, so let's find out more. Okay, actually, I want to see the timer on this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's a ten second timer. Okay, that's what I thought it'd be. All right, <clears throat> let's go get some games. Oh, you can't hurt with that. I don't know why I did that. Oh god, I threw it too far. This is just going to be annoying, because it's just going to be infinite of those stupid heat fields, so you can't die. Except I died. Maintain that positive attitude. Now the question is, did that EMP kill off their things? Because when we talk, or when we, when they talked to Jeff the other day, or today, he didn't know if Sombra could hack the infinite fields. Of course there's a Doomfist. Yikes. Yeah, he doesn't really have a moving forward kind of thing quickly, so he won't be good getting back to battles. Unless you got Lucio with you. So the EMP does affect the uh, invulnerability field. Okay. See, I keep wanting to use the grenades as an offensive weapon. I don't know why we're all shooting each other. We got the infinity field. It's a, we can't die. Oh. <laughs> this is what's going to be annoying about this. Because there's so many of them, you just can't die. I mean, you can. But it takes so much more than it normally would. And we're all being offensive when we're not supposed to be either. It's supposed to be defensive. You know what, let me, let me get a shield up in here. Let me see how this helps us. Sometimes you just need a Reinhardt shield, my boys. I'm just trying to think how he will work. Because, like, obviously everybody's looking for the counter to Ghost right now. I do not think he counters it. Because he doesn't deny healing. Like, if that, if that uh, grenade actually denied healing, he probably would. Nope. 
Now they have point presence. Still can't get healed, huh? Sounds like my life. And that's the and that's the thing too. Um, like, would he have a place in Goat's comp, the three three comp? Hard to say because, like, he like like his healing seems to be a stationary thing, whereas his um. Like, he wants to be far away, but he also wants to be stationary. I don't know. It's weird. We have a Bastion now. Like, I think he'll be really good with Bastion comps, too. Because you just put this in Force in Vulnerability Shield thing over the top of a Bastion Orisa. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like you'll never kill him. Oh, true, and then I can't headshot it. on my watch. charging. I'll set them on fire, and then when they leave the circle, they'll still be on fire. <laughs> Roof up with me. Need healing. Need Actually, who's really good for it is Lucio, because he boosts them out of the circle, and then he can kill them. Jeez. So I like Reinhardt. You can pit him out of the circle. Do you want a bandage for that? This is emo. Doesn't have one. No, he does. Okay. When people just play six of these damn things, and you can't kill anybody. Oh wait, that's that's the tech right there. Tea bagging charges up your jump. <laughs> no way. Yep. I wonder, does this follow the payload? Nope. Okay, it looks like you can't heal yourself. You can heal yourself with shit, and that's it. Yeah, you can't do it with the grenades. I'm in a field. You can't kill me, dummy. I'm sleeping in the payload bringing me out of my immortality field. My immortality bubble. Oh, somebody did though. Who's faster while she's firing now? There we go. Just gotta get rid of those stupid immortality fields and they die to those mines real quick. There it is! We did. There it is, there's the immortality bubble. Now he can die. Uh oh, I just threw myself off the edge.
All right, so after four hours of streaming, Batiste and a little nap in between, I'm going to be honest. Um, I don't know how to feel about him, honestly. Like, yeah, it's, it's something new, cool, but especially as far as the healer, because like everybody, well, this is obviously after only playing on the PTR, which... To be honest with you, is a terrible way to test things just because nobody takes it seriously. And you just, you just get a bunch of Batiste running around in circles, uh, not doing the things that they would be doing in a game. And obviously there's more than one of them. So it's a little hard to, to tell what he's actually going to be able to do and how he's actually going to work into teams. Um, one of my main concerns, again, this is coming from a lower ranking, so... I, I like to have that little bit of a insight to what's going on, just because you usually get the higher level players, and obviously the game works differently at those two different ranks. So my main thing right now, think of how your healers play currently, and this also works in a lot of the top tier th stuff. So you get DPS Moiras, obviously that only hold the uh, the pur the purple suck the suck thing that only does damage. That's the same thing with Batiste. You have to press a whole different button to heal. And the main button is the one that shoots to kill. And it's satisfying to kill with this gun if you're good at shooting it. And then you have to do this thing and try and aim this grenade. And some lower rank players are going to have a hard time doing that. It's not awful, but some people will. That's just how that's going to be. Uh, think of and Ana too. Like Ana, if you, she can be fun to just shoot people with. But you can accidentally heal your team with on at least, because if they walk in front of your line of fire, then you're going to heal them. With him, again, if you're just doing this, it's not going to heal your team. That's, it'll be, that's more of a player-based thing. That's not his fault. That's a player thing. Um, his healing, I haven't, like, I think his, his little half-ass heal there, the uh, shift button, from what I've seen, it's pretty good. Like, it's not overpowered, it's not too much, it's not too little, as far as I can tell at this point. Again, I haven't gotten, like, a full team together to do this. Um, the thing that's make, made me the most irritated while playing with and against is the immortality field. Um, and this, again, I'm going to pin this to that there's more than one of them on a team, so you can just stack these damn things, and it's so hard to kill them. Um... So I think once he's by himself, it'll be a little easier. And once people learn to target again, a lower level thing is gonna have probably have a problem with this. But people learn to target this thing because this thing dies really quickly. So that's th right now. This is here miss. Like if I was solely basing this off of the gameplay today, I would say that should be his ultimate. And like it would have a little bit longer of a duration to it, and maybe a little. Mm, I don't know. The field's actually pretty nice. There are some times you're like, oh, I'm outside the field. So that could almost be an ultimate. And, again, purely thoughts after playing on the PTR with four to six of these guys on a team. His um, ultimate itself is actually a little bit... Has a little bit to be uh, desired. Again, this is go up, going up against six of these damn things where you can't kill them anyway. <laughs> So it seems a little underwhelming right now, but I think once there aren't a hundred of these things on the field It'll be a little bit better because you could notice when there wasn't though when those things weren't up uh, It was it, it did do a ton more damage and you also died a lot quicker if you didn't have one up so So it's 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 a little uh, take with a grain of salt right now, unfortunately uh, We won't be able to truly test him until he is on the live servers which is unfortunate, but you guys will have to let me know if you have tried out Batiste. Uh, what do you think of him? Is it worth having him in the game for you? Are you going to be maining him? All of that fun stuff. I like I like him. When he, there was a decent comp, it was kind of fun to play him. You can just pump in healing the whole time. Stay far enough back from your team to pump out healing. If anything came for you, you could, you could take him on pretty severely. That's going to be a thing, too. It's not going to be easy to dive this hero. Um, I think Immortality Field will be really nice for when you do get dove on by a bunch of people because then you can survive a little bit longer uh, while your team hopefully comes back to help you, which would be nice. Um, 
Outside of that, the cr I, I'm not great at using this just because I don't crouch very often, but it is pretty helpful to get pretty high up so you can use it to heal people. So, I think that's about it for this rant. Again, let me, let me guys know, let me guys, let, you guys let me know uh, what you think of them down in the comment section below. And we'll, we'll be looking forward to testing this uh, character out more. See you next time.